Hey planner friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be planning from the 21st to the 26th of September in my annual Passion Planner Medium, and it's the first week of autumn, my favorite season of the year. Let's get started. So the kit I'm using this week is Witch's Brew from Strawberry Lime Designs, and yes, we're getting started with the spookiness already. So I'm going to start with laying down the base of my spread. Uh, I've just grayed out when I'm going to be asleep with a regular pencil and then I'm going to start splitting up some of the personal and work to do boxes with my Stabilo fine liner. And as I've said before, you can just split these by lining up your ruler with the timelines above them. After the craziness that was last week, well, it was kind of crazy but also kind of dull. Um, I really wanted to get back into like my regular routine this week and I think I managed it so it's been a pretty good week for me. I got some really good news on Friday this week uh, which means that I'm going to be able to work from home one day a week in starting in October which is so exciting because I've been on a reduced hours sick note for six months now and I'm ready to be back to full time. <laughs> but possibly not ready to be back in the office full time so I'm really excited about this compromise that we've come to. Anyway, back to the base of the spread. So as always I'm just colouring in the focus boxes for the days where I'm not going to be at work this week and I'm using my passion markers for this which has been my kind of core colour for September. And then I'm just going to go in with the fine liner side to draw in my work hours for the week. So as you can see I had Wednesday off and Monday and Tuesday it was really bright and sunny in Bristol and then we got to Thursday and the weather had changed and it felt so autumny and it was lush. Now I can wear my hoodies all the time until like next April. I am so ready for like bobble hat and scarf weather and to sit under a blanket for the next like six months. <laughs> As usual, I'm just colouring in the check boxes in the bottom left hand corner to add a little bit of colour down there and now we can start cutting up the washi. As I've said before, I've just measured 6mm thick strips of washi which will cover up the headers for the Space of Infinite Possibility and the personal work to do areas. Now that I've trimmed the washi I can start putting some stickers down at the base of my spread and I really like the subtle stripy pattern of this washi, it's really cute. And although I say like 6mm fits the headers, my measuring is never completely accurate so I always try and pick the thinnest of the three strips for my extra gratitude header because that space is a little bit thinner than the headers. And I didn't realise that with this kit the second piece of washi is split because I guess it's designed for an EC planner. Um, but I think I managed to stick those two bits together pretty well, you can't see the seam. Then I'm going to start working on my sidebar and I work from the bottom up so I'll start with my daily check-in habit tracker. And the, these ones from Strawberry Lime Designs are a little bit shorter than ones that I normally use. So I actually got to fit in a lot more of this cute spell book full box than I thought I was going to. So I'm just trimming this tiny slither off the top and struggling with it, I don't know why. <laughs> And then I'll finish off my sidebar with my meals tracker, which is just something that I made on Excel and print off on sticker paper myself. They're not a perfect fit, but they definitely do the job. So then I'll add in the really cute, like scripty weekend banner from the kit, and I can start adding in some special days for this week, which includes the first day of autumn on Tuesday, and that's when the weather turned, so it was perfect. That UK holiday sticker sheet is from K Elizabeth Plans and then I just added in my payday and we can get started with the daily planning. There aren't any build you stickers in the old format of the mini kit from Strawberry Lime Designs so I've just cut up the uh, Monday to Sunday box that I never use and I'm going to cover up the little M&T that you can see with some check boxes that I pulled out from my stash. And that's just for two bills this week that as I said before I don't like giving a lot of real estate to in my planner because they're so boring. Although if anyone would be interested to see how I budget, I could definitely make a video on that. Although it is all in Excel because I'm not doing maths on weekends. 
The first actual event that I'm going to pop in for this week is my D&D session on Tuesday and I start off by putting this in the wrong place but I'll fix it in a minute. Next up, I'm adding the webinar I'm doing from home on Friday afternoon, which is how I get to leave work an hour early on Friday this week. And as always, I'm just cutting a little chunk out of each sticker so that they fit within the timelines of my fashion planner. I think it was around this part of the week where I started seeing people getting their new 2021 passion planners delivered, and I was so jealous because mine is still stuck in an airport. <laughs> I'm so impatient. I really didn't have a lot going on this week, so the next thing I'm going to do is mark in my workouts for the week. Starting with weight sessions on Monday, Wednesday and Saturday, and then my yoga class on Thursdays, and a couple little like cardio days which ended up being runs on Friday and Sunday. My workout routine stickers are printable from Pinky Stickers that I just slightly resize so that they fit perfectly in the timelines and print off myself on sticker paper. And then I'm going to start adding in things like my planning time on Saturday morning. And then a checklist on Wednesday for some cleaning stuff because if I don't make time for household chores in my planner, I just won't get to them. As usual, I'm going to add in a half box for whatever we end up doing on Saturday evening. I'm recording this voiceover on Saturday morning, so I'm not sure what that is yet, but I think we've got a friend coming over, which should be fun. I'm using the side of my craft knife as normal to help me place down the sides of these boxes where I've cut the chunk out. And then I figured I'm not doing a lot on Sunday afternoon, so I would just put down a decorative box to take up some space. We're going super spellbooky for this week. I'm always a bit nervous with cutting chunks off the decorative boxes, especially when they're as cute as this, but I think what I've done here looks okay. So the last two things that I'm going to add in for this week are a box for a meeting that I had on Monday morning and also a box to block out a chunk of time to record this voiceover. Then I'm going to write in my breakfast, lunch and dinners for this week with my Pilot Friction Pen. And these aren't exact times that I'm going to eat, but they're a rough guide. So while I was adding in my breakfast, lunch and dinners, I noticed that that box kind of butted up to where I would write my lunch in. So I'm just trimming a tiny, tiny bit off the top of that so that the lunch fits in better. And now I'm going to go in and put some icon stickers and some deco as well. So we've got recycling, laundry, cleaning, all that fun stuff. And then I'm using these Stick With The Plan Co Girls for my D&D session. This kit didn't come with any deco, but I remembered that I had this little autumn sampler from a planner face order and also a doodle sheet from her. And I've just brought in loads of bits and pieces from those because I think they really match the kit. And it's autumn now, so pumpkin everything. There's a few other icons that I brought in that were from like samplers that I got from orders. Um, I can't remember where they're from though. And then I'm gonna go in with my passion marker and highlight my breakfast, lunch and dinners to add a bit of color to each day.
and now I can start filling in my plans again with my Pilot Friction Pen. While I'm filling this all in, let me know down in the comments below. Are you excited for autumn? Is it your time of year or are you already missing summer? For me, I love autumn. I like when the weather's getting cold and it's nice and crisp in the mornings. Um, and also I love Halloween, so I have a full month of Halloween spreads planned. Oh, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you don't already, and then you'll get to see how these spreads turn out throughout the week as well as here on YouTube. So now that all the, my plans are filled out, I can just go in and do my like to-do lists down in the bottom left hand corner and also my gratitude prompts for the week which are as always from Elizabeth Designs UK. Some of the to-do lists get duplicated into the timelines of my spread but they're in a bit more detail down in the bottom left hand corner. Not that you can see at the moment, sorry, I'll move my planner up in a second. <laughs> My weekly focuses this week for work was a big time catch up because obviously I missed a lot of work last week due to my little COVID scare. And then my personal goal for the week was just to continue working on my routines, which I think I managed this week. Anyway, that's all my pre-planning done for this week. Let's have a look at the finished spread. As usual, my spread really filled up this week and I love how it's turned out. It really feels like autumn has finally hit my planner and I am so here for it. So that's everything for this week guys, as always if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below, drop the video a like if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time, bye!